Hello everybody, welcome to the third dashboard. In this video, I've created the final output. This looks something like these. So what I've done is, so based on the country that I select, say for example, USA, the plot also changes if I select a specific field. That reflects on the spider web. So I've actually interconnected both of these variables uh, on the data by using multiple filters. So in the macro, I have just added an extra line. I just copy pasted the first line and I just changed the job type with country and just added a new variable called user country, which will be taken from the cell from the dashboard. And the rest of the work remains the same. So if I choose all, the entire data gets re reset and refreshed and based on the parameter that I select. Now the best part over here is that I've used a formula number of recruitment. Now recruitment is small over here. Just correct it. So a number of recruitments are all used. By using concatenate function with a logic, this is a simple concept. That is whatever mentioned in double quotations is given from the user. That's from my end. And the reference is for the cell that means whatever user selects over here, automatically it comes under the brackets like all. So if I select HR, so HR appears. So these are dynamic statements are using the references uh, data that I want to see and I've added it in double quotations. The other calculations are just added across. Just using if statements, count A, count if, and the percentages. So there it is. So based on the selections that I make automatically, it gives me a relevant report. And now that we, what we wish to do is when I execute the macros, automatically these sheets should not be visible. Only the data sheet should be visible to the user and the dashboard. So I wish that these sheet, three sheets should be hidden when the macro is executed. But do remember when the macro executes, it does require these sheets available so that the macro can get into the changes come out and then present. Now, here we will be recording a small macro. When I use any of these buttons, automatically the first thing is it will unhide the sheets and then make the changes into the sheets and come back to the dashboard and hide them again. For this, we'll record a small macro and just name it hide and unhide. So there, what we will do is we'll simply right click on all of the sheets and then hide it. And then right click, unhide it, select the sheet, unhide. So here what we have done is we've actually recorded the process of hiding and unhiding. We stop, we go to macro, and then we use the shortcut Alt F11. So it will take us directly to the macro sheet. And there it is. And hide, unhide. So these are the codes that we need to hide and unhide. The code is the sheet, uh, the name of the sheet, visibility true. So true is unhide and visibility false, that is to unhide. So let's copy this code, go to the dashboard. And after assigning uh, of the data to a reference, it will paste these codes. So currently the visibility should be on. So we will be using the sheet unhide and I'll just remove these for now. So there are total. Let's count the number of sheets we want to hide. So one, two, three, and four. There are four sheets. That means code should be written four times. So two, three, and four. There it is. Now the other thing that is left is to name them. So I'll just copy the name by double clicking and copying it coming down into the sheet parameter that is under double quotations and i'll put in the names that i need to hide so that's one that's this is the second one and the third okay this sheet is not needed to be unhid so it just is the mapping sheet so we'll keep it hidden as itself yeah, this is the one that we need to unhide. So there it is. One sheet is not needed, so I'll just delete. Sorry for that. I'll delete this particular code. So there it is. So we'll be unhiding the data for trend chart. 
Then we'll be unhiding data for uh, column chart. And we will also be using spider web chart. So as we know that the data for column, that is not needed. But say in case of emergency, if we need to do any kind of changes, we can. So once this is done, so once the task is completed, we also wish to hide it. So I'll just paste it once again. But this time, in place of true, we say false. There it is. And once done, let's close the file. And let's try to execute this. So if I do any changes in HR, automatically the sheets are hidden. If I do any changes over here, let's say India, the sheets are still hidden. USA, there it is. If I say all in the drop down, I select all. Yeah, so isn't that fun? So the user will not be able to see that working, but still he will get the results as needed. Or in case if you are using it for upper management, the same goes. In the next video, we will see how to create a trend that will give us a better understanding of the data for the trend chart. Until then, keep practicing. See you in the next video. Thank you.